In today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine data from multiple tabs to one tab here in Google Sheets. So I have my example data set right here. I have form one, form two, and form three. And I want to combine all three into my master list tab right here. And I'm going to do that with an array. So let's start our array formula with the equal sign. Our curly bracket, go to your first tab and select the range that you want to combine. Once you've selected, semicolon, and go to the next one. Select your data. Now you're not going to include the header anymore because you already have that in your master list, so no need. And semicolon to separate. The next one, select the range, and close it with your curly bracket. Once done, press enter, and now you're in your master list tab with all the combined data. Now, what if I try and update one of the forms? Let's say I have the customer's name, Maria Gomez. Will this appear in our master list? Let's find out. Unfortunately, it's not going to update because according to our array, we've only selected a specific range. In order to fix that, we're going to delete the ending number in our ranges to make it an open reference. So whatever comes after the range will still be added in our master list. So let's delete that on the first tab, on the next one, and on the last one. If we press enter, you'll see that Maria Gomez is already in our master list. But what happened to the rest of our data? If we go and press control and arrow down, we'll see that the next set of data has been added after a thousand cells because again now we've selected everything on each tab so even the empty cells are selected again if we go to the next one control arrow down here is our next data set now how do we fix this we fix this by adding a query to our array so let's edit our formula right here and put in query now the query function will help us select everything in each tab, but not including the empty cells. So let's do that. We have our query. This is our data. Let's move to the end of our formula, comma. Now for a query, that would be open quotation mark, select everything. And we're going to do that with an asterisk. So select asterisk means select everything where column one is not null. Quotation marks and closing parentheses. Now, what does this formula mean? It means that we're selecting everything in our selected range, but if the cell is empty, it will not be selected. That's in particular to column one. So if column one is not empty, it will be selected. So if we press enter, you'll see that our range has been updated and Maria Gomez is already added. Now, what if we add something in the second column? Let's go to form two or tab two. Let's say we only have the information of what they purchased. Let's say a camera lens. There we go. We've updated one of the tabs or the forms. And if we go back to our master list, it doesn't get updated because in our formula, we are only considering column one. So if we add here in our formula, or column two is not null and press enter. Now it will be added into our master list. So we're going to tweak our formula into catering every column in our data set because it's not always that we have the complete information. Let's say you only have the product, the quantity and the price, but you don't have the total purchase or you only have the total purchase. So we're going to include every column right here in our formula. So whatever it is that we add will still be included. So let's edit our formula and continue up to one, two, three, four, five, column five. Let's include it in our formula. So let's keep adding or column three is not null or column four is not null or column five is not null. Now, if you press enter and go back to one of the tabs, let's say at tab three, I only know the total purchase. 
Let's add 15,000 here. If we go back to our master list, it will be updated right here. If we go to form two, and let's say we only have the quantity of what they purchased, whatever it is, and go back to the master list, it will be updated. So that's how we combine data from multiple tabs and keep the master tab updated here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.